This morning in the blend, Tracy Wimmer from Consumers Energy joins us. Good morning. Good morning. It has been so cold lately, yeah. and I'm curious if you have some tips. Yeah, absolutely. So there are some pretty easy things that homeowners uh, and customers can do to keep their energy costs low. Obviously, we recognize this time of year, especially heat is crucial. Yeah. Um, so, so it's really simple things like making sure you're getting your furnace regularly tuned, having someone come in and check in, make sure it's running optimally, mm. changing the furnace filter. That's a super easy one that sometimes can save you hundreds of dollars because if the filter's clogged, wow. it's going to take more energy for it to run efficiently. Yeah. Um, making sure that you know seals and are are latched properly. Uh, making sure attic doors or garage doors, other things that might be connected to your house that you aren't necessarily using all the time, are closed. All really simple things that you can do. You can also have our team come in and do an energy assessment, show you any places that you might be losing air, uh, that heat may be getting in or out, uh, and that can. That can really help. I had that done. Yeah. That I called Consumers Energy. Awesome. And, and it was really interesting what they came back with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it and sounded they, like I had no idea. Yeah. Like, They're trained to spot even the littlest things, and sometimes that can those savings can really add up. And you want to make sure, like, nobody left a window open somewhere in the house. Like, yeah, that's right? a big one. I feel like people would feel that, <laughs> definitely. Well, but even you know. things like if you're, you know, if you have older, older windows and knowing to put uh, seals around them, right? right? You don't realize how much air you're losing around the edges of an older window. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So what are some t long term plans to reduce natural gas costs for people? Yeah, one of our biggest things is investing in uh, improving and upgrading the lines that we already have. And that's not building any new lines necessarily or expanding. It's just making sure that we're using the most up to date technology, that we have larger pipelines, which allow us to transmit the, the gas faster. Okay. So that oh. not only reduces our emissions, but it saves costs for customers because we're able to get it to them that much more huh. quickly. Now, can I go to your website and find the tips somewhere? Yeah, absolutely. Consumersenergy.com says cold weather has information. And of course, if we have any customers who are struggling, we always want them to make sure they reach out. They can let us know and we can talk about payment plan options or they can call 211 to find assistance. And it's way better to reach out if you're struggling yes. and, and have contact with consumers and say, look, I'm having a tr trouble paying my bill yeah, rather absolutely. than ignoring it. Yeah, yep. Um, our primary concern is making sure that our customers have the energy they need to stay safe. Yeah, yeah. well, you, good tips. I mean, that things that when they came out to my house and the things that they discovered, yeah. like I had no idea that my windows, which I thought were relatively new, were letting in that much air. Yeah. So, those are well, things that and like slider up. doors. I like every time yeah. I buy the slider, I'm like, oh my god, it's freezing over here. <laughs> <laughs> Consumersenergy.com. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you.